death comes to anyone who plays the game NASCAR 08. Beating the shit out of Clint Boyer every single race. Yeah, I really bullshitted that entire fucking opening. Hello and good evening, YouTube, and welcome back to the, dis the systematic destruction of Clint Boyer, the video game. Um, the audio driver is not off this time, but now the microphone is really quiet again. So I just don't know what in the living hell to do about this stupid fucking series, this stupid fucking computer. But hey, at least it isn't echoing. I don't know what in the goddamn name of shit made it echo. I have no goddamn idea where that even fucking... Where did that even come from? There's literally no audio coming from the computer to be picked up on the microphone. So what was echoing? How was it echoing? I don't get it. It's so dumb, but it doesn't matter. We're going to play some more, and we're just going to forget any of this ever happened. And we're just going to continue into the journey of Kyle Larson to win the Truck Series Championship. By the way, if I don't win, the, which I'm not going to do, so when I don't win the championship in the Truck Series this time around, I will, after getting the Sprint Cup Championship, go back and get the trucks. Because it looks to be a bigger challenge than, um... The Sprint Cup Series Championship to begin with. So, yeah, that's where I stand on things. Charity event at Speedway Boulevard. You know, I wasn't going to do this, but since it's at a unique track that we're probably never going to go to again in this series, we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. And if I can somehow manage to win the Nationwide Series Championship this year, we won't have to worry about doing it ever again. So that way, you know... Once it does get to the point which we need to do the truck series, we can do only the truck series and then do it as many fucking times as need be. And I will utilize glitches, by the way. Well, not so much glitches. I will abuse the track surface. Oh my god, what the fuck? I will abuse track surfaces, so places like Nazareth I will skip forward in on the modified version of the track. And um, this is extra loud today. I want to change that so it doesn't get picked up on the microphone. There we go. Adjusting accordingly, I am, I am. And yeah, um, saying all the way here, wrecked my voice, so probably going to be interesting. These roads are so tight, you can't make a pass. It is fucking bullshit, and I was sliding all over the place to top everything off. The reason I didn't want to do this race is because it's five laps around Speedway Boulevard, which is a really long track, as you can plainly see. We're like barely halfway and it's been 35 seconds. I'm just doing everything that I can to try and get past these guys cleanly. The past couple of races I've won in a very dirty fashion, so I kind of want to get my hero points that don't exist in this game back up. Hey, Jimmy, drop back. Fine, fuck you too. Oh, yeah. All I asked was for you to drop back. You didn't need to wreck me in response. Yeah, charity races are extra difficult because they actually try. So, yeah. And the entirety of, like, these, the boarded sections vibrates on the controller. So the shit gets a little loud on my end. And every single lap, I guess, we jump through time. We enter a wormhole to a completely different version of the same track because it always jumps like that. So, I don't even know what to say. I guess all I can say is that we're playing NASCAR 08, and that's just the way it is. Yep, sir. We may just have to accelerate the footage here. I don't know if I can handle this. Is Jeff Gordon going to follow me? Well, fuck yeah, he is. Awesome. Let's work on our togetherness there, Jeffrey. Uh, perfect. Perfect execution, Jeff. You'll be just as good as me in no time. Alright, see you later. I just can't believe how good David Gilliland is in this thing. Like, are you kidding me? What the... What in the... What were the developers' infatuation with David Gilliland? Did he just get... Getting that one win in the Nationwide series, and then getting the pull for the Daytona 500. You know, that just be made him into a freaking perennial champion here like why is david gilliland so good in this game i don't get it it makes 
no sense. Well, I really wish there were some other things to do here, because we're not even halfway done with this race, and I'm about ready to doze off. May as well start the music all over again. I don't know, I haven't uploaded any of those parts yet. Did that suck? Listening back, I thought Los Angeles was decent. St. Anger was decent. And Just Another Story was fantastic, so... And I was belching a lot in the last session, too. I don't even know what that was all about. Should, well, maybe it will happen this time around, because... Okay, we're halfway. Because when I drove here last time and recorded, I ate beforehand. Well, this time I've eaten way less, so... And you know what? I weighed myself, and I'm 162. So compared to after having eaten an entire, you know, cheese bread box from Little Caesars beforehand... And then weighing myself as 161. Well, having not eaten for the past, uh, when did I, well, let's see here. It would have been approximately 6.30 at night, so. From 6.30 that night is 36 hours to 6 in the morning plus 6 hours would be 42 hours. So approximately 42 to 43 hours of not eating. Weighing myself immediately after that, 162. So I don't know what the fuck happened. I didn't exercise, quote unquote, nearly as much as last time, though. Like beforehand, I did like two sets of 20 push ups and like lots of core workout. Well, this time I only did one set of 20 reps of push ups and um, like a short core workout, like the a third of the length of the last week one, so I guess that just goes to show you. You gotta exercise if you want to lose fat, bitch. You can't be a lazy fuck like me and expect to lose weight. I remember when I was little, when everyone went to this track, I'd try and challenge myself to only turn while the controller's vibrating, so over like here I couldn't use the steering at all. I'd always fly into the wall because of it, you know? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. How fucking long has this race been? This has got to be six minutes now. Jumping, yay. Two seconds ahead, though, so that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Should have tried to do this track without auto brake. That would have been a interesting challenge, you know? An interesting challenge. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I am just a frickin' book of proverbs today, aren't I? Just giving you all sorts of information about, about how life goes, you know. 1919 released a new album, like, last week. By the time this is uploaded, that's probably last year. I barely listen to any of it, though. But it's a, but it's like it's a, like a five star album already because one of the songs name is Zeitgeist, like that is freaking pretty legit. Name a song Zeitgeist. See, and the problem with trying to not move the control stick anymore now is because the control stick is so fucked up that it goes in different directions. You know, like that time it worked, but I still hit the wall. Well, that was a thrilling cherry race. I'm so glad that I put myself through all that. And there you go. There are your results. Almost all of your results, anyway. No Tony Stewart, on the other hand, though. It's unfortunate. Up to level 8 in Charisma, though. I might actually surpass, um... Uh... On the charge with Charisma if I keep doing these. Let's look at the graph for this one. Eh, pretty exciting in the back, but not so much at the front. What a damn shame, man. What a damn crying shame. It's spring break, by the way. They're forecasting a blizzard for today and tomorrow, so it's only fitting. What the fuck? Is that Casey Mears? No, that's Jeff Gordon. I was going to say, why the hell is Jeff Gordon with me in victory lane? Makes no sense. Makes no fucking sense. Whatsoever. So that was 10 minutes in itself. Are you kidding me? 
I could make an entire part out of that. Charity race, well done. I'm not going to open that so that I don't get, you know, the autosave bullshit. So, we were, what we were going to do is we're going to um, let the Hendrick Motorsports contract run out. And then we're going to do Ganassi for probably two races because that's probably not going to be the... Not gonna be how this lasts here, but we will do Ganassi, and then we're gonna jump over to Petty Enterprises. Maybe Gin Racing, but I doubt it. Now, as far as this is concerned, what we gotta hope is that there's no contract. Well, this is 31 races, so we'll be safe with it. But we gotta hope that there's contracts at level 10 in this series, and we're screwed on crap and trucks until we get the Sprint Cup Championship, and we can't do anything wheel. So that's the situation. How are the standings? On the other hand, I'm 251 points back. Yowza, yowza, and Paul Menard isn't my teammate anymore, so I can't tell him to drop back. That is terrible news. 497 back in trucks. I am catching back up again. I am catching back up, so. All right, well. I wanted to see how many wins that Paul Menard has in this series now. Excuse me. Paul Menard, how many wins? Six wins. Well, fuck me. Alrighty, well, that is all of that figured out. Figured out. We're going to Toyota Raceway. If I stay off the apron, we should be able to survive this race without flipping upside down. And maybe even finish well. But I'm not going to hold my breath, because next is California in the Nationwide Series. We all know how long tracks that use speed are in the Xfinity Series. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. And this is NASCAR 08. This is indeed NASCAR 08. And now it's racing time. Benson is third, right? No. He is not third. He's fourth. Goodness gravy. The freaking dynasty is falling, I gotta say. Here's something that I've wanted to try for a while. When I look back in all the old um, parts for this series, after I recorded them, I was always wondering, wait, why didn't I just try the outside for the first lap? Well, I guess we found out why now, so that's good. And that is what we call in the NASCAR world a throwaway lap, ladies and gentlemen. Two throwaway laps, potentially, at this rate. And this is almost a fully upgraded fucking truck. Can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine me trying to do this? Maybe I should have added left weight. If I added left weight in the car setup, we might be able to take the inside without flipping upside down every time. Ooh, they're slowing down for some reason. Thank you for that. Almost halfway done with the race, and I've only just barely made it to the 25th position. Good sign, I gotta say. It's a good sign for things to come. Oh, shit. Yep. Well, this is fucking fantastic. A track that I could have actually done good at, and this is the result that we're looking at. Wonderful. Everything is wonderful now. Please don't wreck me, you dick. Please don't fucking wreck me, you dick. Have to do the entire corner over again just because of that. Didn't really slow down anyone in the middle of the corners, though. See, I swear it happens. It, 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 all, it, it used to happen, anyway. Not when it counts, though, apparently. Not when I really needed to, it won't happen. Benson's, like, second fucking A. Can I make him drop back? Fucking goddammit. Can I make him block? Can I make him follow? Alright, so even though he's ahead of me, he's gonna follow. So, condescending Johnny Benson strikes again. Just outside of the top ten, once again. You know, if people that were fighting in the championship started outside the top ten, you know, I'd actually maybe be able to make up points on these guys. Oh my god, guys are- What the- What in the hell even happened? Why is that guy upside down? What the fuck even happened there? Why is this a- why? Why is this happening? Why does this controller have to be such a fiery piece of shit, too, for that matter? My good god almighty, dude. Fucking hell. 
Even Johnny Benson's sad about that frickin' wreck that was probably a fatal crash because he frickin' entered warp drive and ended up upside down somehow, you know? What did they want? What did they want? <laughs> Bernie Sanders is a lot less fun to talk about now that they fucking conceded. What a damn fine shame. Uh, bitch! Bitch! Fucking! Nigeria! is a country where people of African descent come from. <laughs>